Trend alert. We're about to get the scoop on the latest in interior design trends from Kimberly Selden, who's been taking notes for us at this year's designer trade shows. Kimberly, I'm so excited. So am I reading this right? The first trend is burnt wood. <laughs> You're reading it right. Yeah, who would have thought, right? It's this really cool trend, although it's not new. It's called uh, yakasuji. I hope I'm saying that right. It's a Japanese tradition that dates back to the 1700s. And I've actually been to Kyoto and I've seen it. They take wood that's going to be used on the exterior of a house and they burn it or char it. And it gives the wood uh, a more durability. It's less porous. It also, when there's a layer of soot, creates creates more fire resistance. So you're gonna see this trend popping up and you can see the samples I have here, kind of just the beginning of char marks and then more serious burn and then right down to, in Japan, you'll see these textures that are really, really burnt. And just, you know, to show you legit, look how dirty my fingers are when I'm touching this. <laughs> We're gonna see this popping up uh, here in Canada for sure because they're also working on um, modifying wood by steaming it and heating it. Again, to make the wood more resistant to rot so people feel more comfortable uh, putting it on the outside of the house instead of a vinyl product or a petroleum product, right? And we're also seeing the trend inside in terms of home goods, like a beautiful, cutting board like this which would be so pretty in a white kitchen cutting board has my name on it and I want the charcuterie to fill the entire like the entire board it's humongous and I know people are thinking <laughs> oh my know, gosh right? burning wood sounds counterintuitive you burn it but it gives it strength many moons ago we did do a segment uh, along those lines here at City Line so trends are cyclical they come back around and speaking of that what's your next trend they do. Well, age, right? It's all about aging gracefully, which is wonderful because I'm past <laughs> the point where surgery would help, I think. So I'm really on board with this trend. But my clients, again, are asking me for antique pieces of furniture, for vintage carpets, for traditional fabrics, and not just on pillows, by the way, luxurious window coverings we've done recently in powder rooms, in living rooms. And when you come to my office, you'll see like, dozens of these bulldog clips with fabrics hanging. So this is going to be someone's laundry room, a very traditional English garden fabric. So we're gonna be seeing a lot more of that luxurious traditional fabric. And then with items that are brand new, of course, we're seeing that they are, uh, they have the appearance of aging. So on the stool, for example, it's kind of rubbed through. So you see the underneath, um, the wooden stool is kind of gnarled and beat up. And these are so comfortable to live with. They make us feel safe psychologically, which is wonderful. And of course, if you have a busy family, dogs and all that kind of stuff, they're great too. And that's the practical side of it. I'd rather be in a space that isn't so precious that you feel like, okay, there's a bit of age here, you know? And listen, according to me, everything good comes with age. Wine, us, like age equals wisdom, right? <laughs> so I think that that's I, cool. I'm, I'm leaning in. Yes. <laughs> okay, also cool, uh, a little formal get together uh, with your next trend. Let's talk about your next trend. Well, it's so funny because it almost feels like it would be counterintuitive to aging, but we're seeing a request for more formal pieces of furniture. So I said antiques previously, but like the tuxedo sofa, look for that to return. This is a tuxedo uh, settee, and it just means that the arms are the same height as the back. So it makes it, you sit up a little straighter. It's a little bit more formal. We're also seeing clients ask us for real marble. So we did a fireplace in a dining room recently out of this. Ooh, and coming up, we are doing a whole bathroom in this marble. I mean, I haven't done anything like this since the 90s. So super excited. That's a trend that we're really excited about. But it's time also to get out your fine china. I recently had a girlfriend whose mom passed away and she called me and she said, she's got so much junk. Look at all this, oh, look at all these dishes. And I'm like, stop what you're doing. Send, send me more pictures. I want them all, right? So pull out the fine china and don't be afraid to mix it with modern pieces that you already own. If you've got black or white, it goes just beautifully with that. Absolutely. All the hottest restaurants are doing it. They're taking 
mi like mismatched pieces and throwing them all together. And yes, embrace all of that heirloom, you know, flatware, the dishes, absolutely. Now I'm, I'm seeing a common thread here because most of the trends that you've shown us are nostalgic. They're based in the past. Like we can't even get new television shows anymore. Everything's a reboot. All the movies are reboots. Like why is that, do you think, Kimberly? Well, A, because everything we did was way cooler than what the young kids are doing now, for sure. But also, I just think, you know, are we all sick of talking about it? But we were stuck at home during the pandemic, and that just made us, like, crave and want, like, formerly good times, and which is always subjective. But I do have a trend for you, Tracy, that is not stuck in the past. At least I haven't seen it before. Um, so I'm going to say it's a new trend, and that has to do with rivets and studs showing up Ooh. on walls, on wallpaper. So here we've got this, like, traditional grass cloth, but it's got these big studs or rivets in it. You can see them here. Here it is in a shiny gold, ooh, shiny things. And here we have quite an elaborate, almost, you know, looks like um, leather, mm -hmm. which is so pretty, right? I can really see that. We did, so you're gonna see more embellishments like that showing up on walls. The walls are getting more interesting. I think Sharon Greck told you that last time she was on, uh, but embellishments on wallpaper, and we did a powder room in this, and I mean, really, it just takes a room that's plain and turns it into a showpiece. We're getting glam, we're getting nostalgic. I'm loving all these trends. Thank you, Kimberly.